Optin Monster makes it easy to integrate your campaigns with Google Analytics for detailed reporting. In this video, I'll show you how. But first, if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Now, let's get started. All right, first things first, you're going to need a Google Analytics account and you'll need to have created a property for your website in Google Analytics. Now, if you need help with either of those prerequisites, be sure to check out these handy resources from our friends over at Monster Insights. They'll walk you through the entire process step by step. I've linked to both of these resources in the description of this YouTube video. Once you've completed those tasks, you're ready to connect Optin Monster to Google Analytics. From your Optin Monster dashboard, access the My Account menu and select Integrations. Next, select Add under Google Analytics and then select Register Google Analytics. A pop up window will open, prompting you to log in to the Google Analytics account you want to connect to Optin Monster. Now, if you're not the owner of the Google Analytics account, you'll need to at least be an editor or administrator level user. Once you've authenticated the connection between Google Analytics and Optin Monster, you'll need to give it an account name. Since it's possible to add more than one Google Analytics integration to your account, the account name you enter here is for internal use only and can be anything that helps you identify this specific integration. This is especially useful if you need to assign a specific campaign to a specific integration. Next, select Connect to Google Analytics. Now, as I mentioned, you can connect campaigns to specific Google Analytics integrations individually or set a site-wide default. I'll cover setting the site-wide default first. To set a site-wide default, go to Sites, locate the site you want to assign a default Google Analytics integration, and select the Edit button. Next, select the account and property you want to set as the default for campaigns associated with this site. All new campaigns will include this integration by default. Additionally, if you want all existing campaigns to use this integration, simply select Apply this change to all campaigns existing and new. And that's it. When you're finished, click Save. So that's how you set up the site-wide default. Now, let's take a look at how you can connect an individual campaign to a specific Google Analytics integration. When creating or editing a campaign, navigate to the Analytics view in the Campaign Builder. Here, you can view Optin Monster's native analytics to see all your important data, such as total impressions and conversions, as well as the top converting pages. And if you enable revenue attribution in your account settings, you can track the revenue each campaign generates. Okay, back to Google Analytics. If you've already set a site-wide default, you'll first need to disconnect this specific campaign from the existing connection. Then, select the Connect button, and then select the account and property you want to send the analytics data to for this campaign. When you're finished, click Save. And that's how you integrate Optin Monster with Google Analytics. If you have any questions, be sure to browse through our helpful documentation. Or for further assistance, you can submit a support ticket and we'd be happy to help. Also, to learn how to view Optin Monster reports in Google Analytics, be sure to check out this video. Thanks for watching.